Let's uh, go right into the first quarter highlights as the uh, Ducks uh, see Oregon State win the toss. The Beavers elect to receive the football as we start the game. Now let's take a look. Instead of the starting lineups, the Oregon seniors playing in their final game as we uh, set them off uh, by numerical order. Oldham, Horton, Nelson, Penso, Daryl Reed. Lavelle, and as we look at the names, I'm sure you people will have a lot of memories of each and every one of these players, uh, one or two plays that you will remember for a long, long time. Guys up in the trenches there, the quintet. Kunzman, Obi, Merton, Teft, Jensen, Leroy Ali. Want to add Rich Walk, who was injured a couple of years ago, still helps out in the uh, filming process for the Ducks. Record crowd, as we mentioned, and once again, the Ducks setting another attendance mark for per game average at Hudson Stadium. Good job here by Castle knocking the ball loose from Billy Hewley. And Roy Derry recovers on the opening play. Big break for us early in the game. You can see Castle just, he splits through the Oregon State blockers, comes right in, gets his left hand right on the ball and rips it out. Castle made a lot of plays in the kicking game uh, yesterday as well as on, in our Hawk group. Had an interception to boot. So the Ducks with great field position to start the game at the Oregon State 25-yard line. But the Beaver defense stiffens, holds, and on third down, Musgrave's pass uh, incomplete. And so Greg McCallum called upon to attempt a 40-yard field goal. Pretty disappointed here. We uh, three downs and uh, have to settle for a field goal after a big break like that. But at least we get the points on the board. And that's uh, critical in that situation. Tenth time in 11 games that uh, I believe your team has scored first. Good job there by Mark Kearns uh, getting Chafee for about a yard gain. Play action fake to hit Ross out in the flat. Uh, Ross is an outstanding football player. Gain of 10 and a first down. Run the sweep out of the shotgun. We haven't seen that that much this year and they kind of caught us off guard. And get down there, uh, pick up about 12 yards. So another first down for Oregon State as uh, they have mixed the pass and the run here on their first to drive. One of your keys you thought was uh, stopping Pat Chafee against the run. It was, and it's a good job here by Andre Williams following the pulling tackle, getting in and making the hit along with LeBounty uh, for no gain. Uh, we didn't stop him very well early, mm -hmm. but uh, as the game wore on, their running game uh, was very, a very insignificant factor. Third down pass, incomplete, uh, looking for the tight end. Daryl Singleton on the coverage. And so Bennett called upon to punt, and this is a, quite a punt. Would make a lot of golfers happy with the backspin on this one as it almost hits the goal line, but it bounces back and out of bounds at the far. So a tough I, field position to start for you. I wish I could hit my wedge that well. I wish I could hit any of mine that well. This one almost disaster. Softfield almost picked it off, might have had a touchdown. It really was. Uh, they blitzed and we went to the hot read and they covered the hot read and uh, nearly had an interception and dropped it. Key Just third and eight. Unbelievable catch. I was standing right in front of that and I'm saying, I'm looking at the ball, I'm looking at Terry, I'm saying, well, there's no way he's going to get this one. And he goes up, gets it, and gets his foot down, as you can see, inbounds. Key third down to get the Ducks out of the hole. First and 10 from the 38 yard line. This is a real big drive, 95 yards. Here we come with the reverse. We'll be coming up inside now. Gets tackled by Vladek after a six yard gain. But the Ducks eventually pick up a first down. This is second down and five. Another nice catch by Terry Obi. Over his shoulder on the corner route. You can see we're going to roll to the top of the screen. Good job by Lattenberry getting the outside backer down. And Musgrave throws well. Man coverage, Obi makes a nice catch. Gain of 25. Ball now at the Oregon State 22. Big hole up inside for <coughs> Lavelle. Takes it down deep into Oregon State territory. The ball is at the 11 after a gain of 11. And Lattenberry fights his way down to the four. So it is second and goal from that spot. And on the next play, Derek Lavelle into the end zone for the touchdown, and the Ducks go 95 yards in 12 plays. Good job by Husco pulling around there. Good block by Lattenberry at the point of attack. And Derek uh, goes in for one of his many, many touchdowns, uh, adding to the record that he holds at Oregon. 
Only three players in Pac-10 history. That's Pac-10 history have scored more touchdowns. That's, That's remarkable. pretty impressive. Nice play by Mark Kearns, tackling the Oregon State back for a three-yard loss. And Boer out after the next play with a sprained left knee. So she still comes in. He had started the season for Oregon State and uh, right on the money on his first attempt to Phil Ross. Very accurate passer. Uh, obviously understands their offense well. Hit Chafee in the backfield, but he gets back to the line of scrimmage. So second down and nine. The Ducks leading it 10 to nothing. This will be the final play that we see in the first quarter. Pass interference was called. Was it on Farwell or was it on somebody else downfield? Well, they gave me two different numbers of guys that weren't on the field. Uh, the only guy it could have been on, in my opinion, is Farwell, and I didn't th think he interfered. I thought it was a bad call. Ready for the second quarter, the Ducks leading the Beavers 10 to nothing, and as we pick up action in the second quarter, Oregon State has the football and is in Oregon territory at the 24. First play, Pat Chafee, loss of one. Good job by Mark Kearns again. Andy Connor turns it right back into Kearns, and Kearns is there to make the tackle for a yard loss. So, third down and two. It's a bizarre series, as it turns out. You see on third down, good job again by the Duck defense, Williams and Cusano. No gain, fourth down and two. So the Beavers line up for a field goal, but it is no good. But the Ducks are called for running into the kicker, a five-yard penalty, and gives the Beavers a first down. But the Beavers unable to move the football. In fact, after a couple of penalties and this deflected pass, Again, they're faced with a field goal situation. Fourth and 18. Now this time, they just don't get the ball held properly. And Cusano making sure nothing happens. Kind of reminds me of a play later in the fourth later quarter of ours. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. So the Ducks come right back. They have scored on their first two possessions, trying to make it three out of three. Joe Reitzig on the out pattern, picks up six yards. Another big game for Joe Reitzig. Second down and nine from the Oregon State 43. We had a little complaint about the, the Well, hit it was obviously overthrown, uh, uncatchable, and the Oregon State player, uh, I thought, created a personal foul on uh, Joe Reitzig, but they, they obviously didn't agree with me. Third down and at nine. Big play here. Musgrave to Hargeen. Almost breaks away on that. He's made a lot of big catches this year. This one for a first down. Tony's had a real good year this year, obviously, and has one more year left. Uh, has made a lot of big catches and big plays, as you mentioned, and that's uh, one of them there right there. The drive stalled, and so from the Oregon State 24, the snap and the field goal attempt from 41 yards, and McCallum Perfect again. again. And with that kick, breaks the all-time scoring record in a single season for the Ducks, passing Bobby Moore. Ahmad Rashad finished with 100 points. That's a quite a year. Great year. Here we kick a squib kick down the field. Uh, Oregon State feels it, and Leroy Ali. Woo! Is that a hit or what? I mean, Leroy in his last football game, uh, see it from ground level, and I think you'll appreciate what it takes to not only return kickoffs, but cover them. Watch this hit. Hubbard up. Hubbard down. Oh, number 99, Leroy Ali. So the Ducks stop the Beavers in that series and get it back again. Fake the draw. Pass to Joe Reitzig for a big first down. Gain of 18. Good ground level shot of it here. You can see the pass protection, the fake draw to Lavelle. And Reitzig coming back to the football and making the catch. Ball now at the Oregon State 42-yard line. Next play we see, third down and eight. I'll tell you, that guy is amazing. I mean, he, he hangs on to the ball. Once it's there, it doesn't make any difference how he gets hit or where he gets hit. He's going to hang on to the football. Key fourth and two. Fourth and two, we run the roll out here, and Musgrave really overthrows Obier. That would have been a touchdown. Uh, Obi had to stretch to get it. Uh, I thought for a minute we were going to have this incomplete, but it's wide open. Obi breaks clear behind the Oregon State secondary and can't stop before he goes out of bounds. 
and we uh, unfortunately have to settle for a field goal in this situation. Yeah, first and ten, get five uh, by Derek Lavelle here, but the drive did stall, and so it's McCallum again called upon with 2.55 to play in the first half to attempt a 24-yard field goal, and it is good. And so the Ducks go 66 yards in 11 plays in control, leading it 16 to nothing. Now the Beavers trying to get on the scoreboard here and mount a bit of a drive. She's still on a good scramble, gets 23, and puts the ball in Oregon territory at the 41. Then on first down, they go back to the tight end, Ross, and pick up about 15. Nice throw and catch there. Now they're deep in our territory. And now a very key play in the football game. Beavers driving. Derek Horton with the interception. Watch this. John Gillespie would be proud. The Oregon assistant track coach, uh, hurdling coach. I'll tell you, it's just a great return. And what a shame uh, this play is nullified uh, by a uh, blocking call below the waist that was way away from the play, had no bearing on the play whatsoever. Uh, and the play is called back. And I think if uh, this play would have uh, stood, uh, obviously a 23 to nothing lead uh, going into half is a lot different than 16 to nothing. Just a, just a great run. What a great effort by Derek Horton, who's played super football for us all year long. But the last three weeks has played incredible football. He's played just outstanding in the last three football games. We'll finish with five interceptions this year, one behind the team leader, Chris Oldham. But we can't see the uh, penalty on our uh, camera angle. And as a result, the Ducks denied a touchdown. Can't get anything going on offense, so Oregon State with one final chance, again in Oregon territory. She stole to throw, but Peter Brantley with the sack. Felt we'd get better pressure all day long than we did, but uh, Brantley came up with two sacks to add to his eight and a half total to give him ten and a half on the year, which is up among the Pac-10 leaders. You see the sack, and so time for one final play. Just four ticks left on the clock. And she's still just airing it out, hoping for something to happen near the goal line. What we call the Big Ben play. They're sending three receivers down there, but Eric Castle goes up, makes the interception in the end zone for the touchback as time expires. One final look at Eric Castle's third interception of the year. Eric Castle uh, is an outstanding young football player. In the next three years, you're going to see some great football from him. He's already demonstrated some of it, but you're going to see a lot more. He's a big, strong, fast safety. And smart also. And smart. And guys like that have a tendency to make some plays. <laughs> the Ducks leading 16-0 at halftime into the third quarter we go. Neither team able to move the football in their first two possessions of the third quarter. So we actually pick up play midway through the third period with the Ducks having the football in their territory, first and ten. And mounting a drive here, trying to uh, put this ball game away. Good hole up the middle for Lavelle, opened up by Kunzman and Husco. Passed Joe Merton over the middle, and the big guy from Eagle Point bulls his way forward for an extra three or four yards. Just short of the first down. It's third down and really about six inches. And Derek Lavelle over the top for the first down. Next play we see is a third down and eight from the 47. Lavelle. Just short of the first down. So it's fourth and one. And out around midfield, you decide to go for it. Well, we felt we needed to keep the momentum, and Lavelle makes a great run and a good straight arm there. That picks up the first down easily. Don't see that. It's kind of a lost art for running back these days, that straight arm. Key play right here, to say the least. Musgrave's pass is picked off by Billy Hewley. And almost takes it for a touchdown. Musgrave holds him up, and finally the pursuit, Latin Berry and Company, uh, nudge Hewley out of bounds. So Oregon State with a big momentum changer, and uh, they're trying to capitalize, get some points on the board. Sweep uh, played very well by Bjarni Jensen, and Pitchford slips down for a two or three yard loss. Third down and 12. Third and 12, and we get called for pass interference, and they still catch the pass for the touchdown. Uh, we'll be assessed on the kickoff. Now they're going to run Chafee in for the two-point conversion. And we also get a, a 
unsportsmanlike penalty here for another 15 yards, so we actually get penalized 30 yards on the ensuing kickoff. I've never seen this in, in a game in my life. They're kicking this off from our 35-yard line. And uh, just fortunate that uh, Hargain does a good job feeling this. It goes right between Obie's legs, and Hargain juggles it before he handles it and takes it to the ground. That kind of stems the tide, to say the least, and not only gives you possession, but your team is able to move the football, responded to the challenge, and put another score on the board. Great effort there by Derek Lavelle on third down, diving forward over an Oregon State defensive back, back to uh, get the first down. And that ended the third period. Into the fourth quarter we go. The Ducks leading the Beavers 16 to eight, but as we've mentioned, the momentum has changed a little bit. To Oregon State back in the football game. The Ducks have the football and are trying to mount a drive. They're in their own territory at the 35. Second and seven here. Oh, Looks like a replay, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, just a great catch by Terry Obi on the sideline. A roll out. You see we have pressure from the backside. Musgrave unloads it just in time here. And Obi goes up and makes a nice catch before going out of bounds. And the Ducks once again for the first down. It's uh, Musgrave and Obi again. Obi finishes the season leading the Ducks in receiving and caught six balls for 125 yards in this contest. Draw play to Lattenberry. Breaks it down the sideline. Just short of the first down. So the next play we see is first and 10 from the Oregon State 24 yard line. Musgrave, Obi, looked like it might be intercepted, but it's Obi that comes down with the ball in the end zone. We'll take a look at it from the low camera angle. You'll be able to see Obi literally steals the ball. Just a great kick, good protection. Throws it up. Obi goes up over the top, pulls it right over Beck's uh, shoulder and, and makes the reception for the TD. Great catch. Needless to say, that is our play of the game. A coach diagram as to why you thought this play might work and why it worked. Well, we have a lot of faith in our receivers, obviously, and Bill has even more faith in them. <laughs> uh, uh, it's just a straightforward pattern. We drop straight back, solid protection. Fullback goes one side, tailback the other, and we're sending our both receivers uh, on fly patterns up the field. and. Although it was fairly well covered, as you could see, uh, Musgrave laid the ball up over uh, Beck's shoulder, and Beck went up to make the play on it, but Obi came up over him uh, to take it away from him. Just a great individual effort by uh, Terry Obi. In other words, what you're saying is you can diagram plays, and if you have players that can execute and make the plays, then it looks awful good. That's right. They, they defended the play very well. Obi just made a great play. All right, let's look at it again, because this is really the backbreaker in a lot of respects. It proves to be the winning points in the game. You see the ball and then Beck. And it looks like the interception, but it's right there. Obi literally steals it. Terry has unbelievable concentration as witnessed by the play he made it uh, in BYU a couple of weeks ago when he caught that ball that was juggling in the end zone. So Oregon State comes back though, and to their credit, they don't waste a lot of time in scoring as they come right down the field. She's still leading the way. Chafee on the reception. Chafee out of the backfield, catches a big pass. Here, Cassano gets him for no gain. Second down and 10 from the Oregon 26. Bootleg pass here. Pretty well covered. He pulls it down, and Cassano in pursuit tackles him for about a seven yard gain. Ball now at the 14. Come on the sweep. Pitchford cuts it back into the middle and goes to the Oregon two-yard line. And uh, two plays later, Pat Chafee takes it in for the touchdown, and the Beavers have come right back. The score is now 23-14. They go for two. Big missed two-point conversion coming up here. So the pass underthrown, incomplete. So that means Oregon State must score twice to take the lead now. Ducks get the football back, but are unable to move it. And so Oregon State with another possession. And again, it's she still leading the way to Ross. A gain of about 19 and a first down. Daryl Singleton found out how big Ross is, just ran right over him there. Second and six. Great play by Daryl Reed here. It is, uh, gets his left hand in there and deflects the ball out. Uh, Daryl's played very, very well in a senior year. Third down and six. I was unable to ask Schiestel if he was throwing this away or if he was uh, 
literally trying to hit Chafee, but that's how it worked out, a touchdown. Well, Chafee was running a flat route, and Kearns had him man to man, and uh, as Schlichy started to scramble out there, Kearns came off of him, and he turned up field, and the ball was there, and a touchdown. Big play here on the draw, and Lavelle picks up 16 yards. And a first down. We'll look at it again. You can see at the top of your screen, good job by Husco and Dykes. Good block by Lattenberry on the linebacker. And off he goes, trying to get a block from Hargain downfield. But a, a big gain to get us up around midfield. First and 10 at the OSU 41. Play action, we hit Joe Merton out in the flat, pick up another 10 yards on the first down. This is a big, big drive for your football team. First and five after a penalty against Oregon State, it's Lavelle into the secondary. Gain of 11 and another first down. Big hole there uh, for Lavelle on the counter. Good line blocking, fake the draw, get pressure. Collinsworth comes back and picks him up, and here is a scary play. That ball was in the air. I saw Vladek coming at it, and also Lavelle did too, and uh, he came back to the ball. If he'd have waited, uh, Vladek probably would have intercepted and taken it all the way down for the touchdown. You can see Musgrave looks across the field, throws clear back across to Lavelle. Lavelle comes back to the ball, slips the tackle, and almost gets it in, but gets down to the two-yard line. So first and goal from the two-yard line. Next play, Lavelle up and over for the touchdown. 57 yards, seven plays. Great job by Latin Berry leading in here. Watch the block on 59, their linebacker. Latin tied him up very well. Good job by Todd Kunzman. We had a timeout, and I told Todd, we're going right over you, big fella. Score with your man, and he sure did. Indeed he did. Oregon State desperately now behind by nine points. Needs to get a quick score, but a big sack by Peter Brantley. Brantley coming in and also Chris Oldham on the corner blitz came in from the other side, but Brantley gets the sack. Second and long. Derek Horton almost had another pick. Nice play by Derek. Went off of his hands. Third and 16. And Labounty gets the sack, knocks the ball loose. Or excuse me, that wasn't Labounty, it was Andy Connor. Excellent job on the pass rush by Andy. Sophomore from Wairika comes in, strips the ball out, gets the sack and unfortunately we're unable to recover it. This is the final play of the 93rd Civil War. The final score, the Ducks defeat the Beavers 30 to 21. And there were a lot of great plays made during the course of this season. Let's take a look back at some of the great plays and the players that made those plays.
That wraps it up for this year's uh, show. This year, a great year, a lot of memories. We thank you very much for joining us. And until next year, for The Coach, I'm Todd McKim. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in hoops.